Before the game, that great backfield of Layden, Crowley, Struldreyer, and Miller gather with their former teammates. And now, for the game action. First quarter, third play. There's a fumble, and Southern Cal recovers to throw a scare into the Irish. With the ball on the 26, Pat Duff takes the handoff and picks up four yards. In slow motion, Dean Schneider goes back to pass for the Trojans. This southpaw hurler gets it away. It's almost intercepted. Johnny Foch grabs it, and he's downed immediately on the 14-yard line. Two plays later, Dean Schneider going back to pass again. Watch this bit of brilliant defensive play as Hart dives in, knocks the ball out of Schneider's hands, and Notre Dame recovers to cut off this scoring drive. Near the end of the first quarter, Bob Williams goes back to pass. It's complete, out in the left flat to Spaniel for a short gain. On the next play, with the ball on the 40-yard line, Williams drops back to pass again. There it goes. On the 15, co-captain Leon Hart takes it, wards off a Southern California tackler, and goes over for the first score of the game, and Notre Dame leads 7 to nothing. Notre Dame kicks after the touchdown. It's a low, wobbly kick taken by Bill Martin, who runs it back 10 yards to the Southern Cal 34. On the next play, Jimmy Powers is deep for Southern Cal. He's going to pass. He lets it go. On the 40, the ball is tipped into the arms of Pettibon. At the 26, he gets good blocking, and he's on his way. It's a 44-yard touchdown jaunt, and Notre Dame leads 13 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. In the second period, Williams deep in his own territory. The ball's away, but Don Rogers intercepts for Southern Cal, and he's down on the 27. On a quick opener over the left side of the line, Pat Duff picks up four yards to the Notre Dame 20. On fourth down, Southern Cal needs one yard for a first down. Tackle Jim Martin crashes in and stops Southern Cal's Bill Martin, and Notre Dame takes over. Midway in the second period, Williams is back to kick for Notre Dame. He gets off a long, spiraling kick. On the 30, Jay Roundry bobbles the ball, and it gets away from him. Frank Johnson recovers for Notre Dame on the Trojan 24. <laughs> Taking advantage of the break, Williams hands the ball to Barrett, who cuts around the left side of his line, breaks into the secondary, and fights his way all the way down to the 11-yard mark. At fullback now is Leon Hart, All-America end, and Coach Frank Leahy springs a surprise. Hart pile drives through the line for six yards. From five yards out, Williams fakes to Hart, slips the ball to Sitko. Watch this All-America live up to his reputation. He hurls himself over that last white line to make it Notre Dame 19, Southern Cal nothing. Near the end of the half, the Irish call on Sitko again. It's a trap play up the middle. Sitko is in the secondary. Cuts to his left, he's in the clear. They knock him out of bounds on the 14 as the half ends. Now we're in the third quarter. Williams passes down the middle to Hart for seven yards, and the ball is on the Southern Cal 25. Faking beautifully, Williams gives the ball to Larry Coutre. Watch this Irish back fight his way to the 12-yard line. It's Notre Dame turning on the power now. Coutre swivel hips his way through the line to put the ball on the two. On the next play, a huge hole opens up. Spaniel scores to make it Notre Dame 25, Southern Cal nothing. Southern Cal fights back gamely. Jimmy Powers drops back to pass, gets off an aerial complete to Bob Stilwell, who moves on down to the Notre Dame 21. But this is as far as the Trojans can go. 
In the fourth quarter, Williams passes from his own 36. Bill Barrett takes it at the Trojan 40, and they pile him up on the 26. In slow motion, it's Notre Dame's great offensive powerhouse in action. Zaleski cracks the line for nine yards, down to the six. On the play to the left, Williams hands it off to Barrett, and this flashy sophomore back is down inches short of the score. On a power play, Barrett racks up the final touchdown of the game as Notre Dame wins 32 to nothing and stretches their winning streak to 37 games without defeat. They now prepare to meet Southern Methodists on December 3rd to finish a great season.